back to hi-fi tech and entertainment channel in today's vlog i will show you how to run a fury element application using mark server in my previous video already i showed you how to enable the abap trailer account so by using that what i did is i created one fury application in today's vlog i will show you how to use the mark server with fury app and also how to create a mock data with data editor and also how to add the additional service to your mark server so in case if you don't have any test application just go through this url and you can import the project and you can take the further step now let's start the session so first to check the mark server we have to check the dependencies the first dependency is a package.json here you have to check the mark server thing dependencies is loading or not yes it is loading it here it will generate automatically in case if it's not there please add this dev dependencies the next step what you have to do is go to your ufi mock aml file here check the dependency data the metadata is loading or not yes here the metadata part is also loading in case if these things are missed you have to add it manually now before going to start our mark server first we'll test the application once with the mark data for that right click preview start mark now your application will run with the mark server data so you can see the application now with the start mock data this all calls will happening to the back end so this is the back end calls are happening if you want to add some more filters you can add it so now added here agency id if you see it will taking time to load the back end calls so first what i will do is for this table data i will create a json how to create is it's a very simple step just go to your web app before going to create i will show you my local service if you see here only i have metadata xml file now i'm going to create a json file for that right click the web app open data editor once you click on the open data editor here you can see all the entities of your backend call so what you have to do click mock data once you click on this just expand your web app within the local service here you can see the extra data folder within that you have all json files of your entity sets now this is the data coming from the backend call so what we have to do is just i will run the application one more time once i run the application you can see here the back end calls are not happening it is taking locally only see everything is local but in case some entity sets will be there. that means for the drop down under f4 for example if i go to the adapt filters i am checking the agency id when i click on f4 if you see here still the back end calls are happening so how you know that is you can see that thing here so what i will do is first i will comment this back end call then i will configure the additional service to the mark server for that what we have to do is just expand the application here you have an mark server here if you see within my mock server if the back end call need to comment it before commenting this just remember just copy this file data to your notepad so it will be easy to add your metadata xml file 
and we can call that file here directly instead of calling the backend now i commented this now what i will do is i will run the application one more time with my mark So, in case now if I add the agency ID, when I try to check, see that dialog is not coming. Why? Because I commented my backend call. Now, what I will do is instead of this, I will call an local JSON XML file. For that, what step we need to take is first you need to add one additional mark server. For that, create a new file in your local service. Give some naming convention for that. XML. So, this is my metadata. XML file here what I will do is already I copied my metadata file so if you see here this is the dummy XML file I copied it from the URL just I will copy this XML and store it to my local xml file yes now it's created the next step what we have to do is i will create an one more file that is config.json here i will load the i will load this xml So what here, what I will copy is, I will close all these things. What are the path we have right, right? This is the path. I will copy this here. So first, this is the metadata file. I copied just I will remove this first in this config file here I need to take the your name whatever the service you have so here I copied my service so based on your application you have to copy your service click on save then you need to replace your mark server file with your local for that go here and here what you have to do is you have to modify something in your mark server the first one is here instead of backend call you need to comment all these things Then within the config section, just you have to give the mock folder name. Colon the path of the application. Now, if you validate this, what will happen is it will go to your web app within that local server. Within the local server, we have config file. Now, I configured only the standard one, right? 
this mock data it will call. So you can see now. Now what I will do is I will add the instead of including this I will add the one more service that is extra XML file I created right to call the F4 help. Add it here. Now what will happen is now if I run the mark it will load the multiple local services. So now currently the data entry is supporting only one. If you want to add it you have to do it everything is in the manual structure. Now if you see the backend call itself is not triggering, everything is triggering from the local. So the server path is started and the call is triggering. Sorry, this is not the one. Yes, this. You can see, right? This is how we can then use the mark server data. So in next video, already you, we created the mark data, right? By using this. I will show you how to write the OPA test cases for your Fury application. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for next videos. Thank you.